Hello dear students, this video is on test of mathematics solution as a special book. I will be solving these questions and this question's solutions is not only applicable for ISI, also applicable for parallel examinations like CAT also you can use and for CMI, for ANMO and also for IM Institute of Mathematics and Application in Bhubaneswar. So let's start with first question. So the sum of the distinct so this is question number one 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 actually okay just from the book test of mathematics so some of the first all distinct four digit numbers we are talking about so four digits are like this can be formed using the digits one two three four five each digit appearing at most once so you see there has to be one digit appearing more than one so one will appear at the first as the first digit so one as the first digit in factorial 4 that is 24 ways okay now similar goes for the other now similar cases for two three four for second place one with respect to second place one with respect to the third digit or the third place or the fourth so therefore applying the basic formula of permutation we apply 24 ways uh, in this place so 1 2 3 4 and uh, 5 similarly for this place at so the second place 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 5 it's 15 you can turn into 15 and last one is 1 into 15 that's the units place so we just multiply this will be 15 as common and this is coming 1 1 1 1 and the answer is coming as 3 9 9 6 0 okay so simple the option number B is correct now next uh, I will be solving because many of the students have requested me to solve this question so I'll be use a different color for this yeah. Question number 112. This one says about an integer n has a property that when divided by 10, 9, 8, or 2, it leaves remainders 9, 8, 7, 1 respectively. So, possible value of n is what? So, this one's a long one. So, let us consider the number form. 3000 to 3999. So the number is in the form 3xyz. So x equal to 3 and y and z if not equal to 3. So therefore, how many ways? Two different positions. So 9 into 9, 81 numbers are there. Okay. Now Similarly, for y equal to 3 and uh, x and z not equal to 3, we have another 81. So, in that way, 81 into 3. So, 2 we have here. So, 81 into 2 in these two cases. So, it is 162. So, now, if x equal to y, so there are 10 into 10 c1 possibilities. That is 100 numbers. Next is y equal to z. So, again, 10 c1 into 110 that is 100 and the third you can guess z equal to x in that way also 10 c1 into 10 which is 100 now if x equal to y equal to z so there are only 10 possible numbers and if uh, now x equal to y equal to 3 and uh, z not equal to 3 so there also we get 9 possibilities we can proceed in that way y equal to z equal to 3 x not equal to 3 and x equal to z equal to 3 y not equal to 3 so there are 9 each so the number of required numbers from 3000 to 3999 is is actually 81 into 3 the first 3 plus uh, 100 into 3 300 and subtracting these numbers 3 into 9 and 2 into 10 so this is giving us 
496. So uh, the number of required numbers from 3000 to 7999 in that way will be 3000 to 7999 is 496, 4000, 5000, 6000, 7000, 8000. So in that way it is into 5. So that is 2480. And including 8000 itself we get the one more number. So 2481 is the answer here. So which is the option number A. They should have given 2480 also as an option. So which makes it a relatively harder choice for most of the cases. Okay. So now 121 is the next question we have from Test Mathematics. As a student has requested me. So this one is a tricky question. So for each of the n, consider that the set S n defined as follows S1 equal to 1, S2 equal to 2, 3. So we said the number of elements in the set are increasing. And a quick info that the total number of subset from a set containing n elements is 2 to the power n. And if S of n plus 1 consists of n plus 1 consecutive integers, it's 2, 3, 4, 5 in that way. The smallest of which is one more than the largest integer. So for example, here we end up three. So we start with four. Then the sum of the integer of S21. So how to do that? So remember that the largest integer is actually from as uh, it's called a triangular number. So this is one is a game of triangular numbers. And the formation is n into n plus one whole divided by two. So the largest number in S20 will be 20 into 21 whole divided by 2. That is 2, 1, 0. So therefore the required summation of the next will start from, from S21 will start from 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2. In that way there will be 21 terms. So obviously we can reach like 21 by 2. 2 into 2, 1, 1 plus 21 minus 1 into common difference. So this was giving us 4, 6, 4, 1. That's it. So option D is correct. Next of the sums I will be doing in my next video.